Fox 61 continues our CT Cultured initiative, furthering our commitment to diversity and inclusion. Today, August 3rd, marks National Black Women's Equal Pay Day, a day to celebrate the achievements of black women, but also to highlight the challenges they continue to face. Behind me, you see an array of beautiful, successful black women. And we stand today here in Bloomfield to talk about equal pay for black women. Black women and women of color make an average of 63 cents on the dollar compared to non-Hispanic white men, according to the National Partnership for Women and Families. Today is the 214th day of 2021. It's also the same day in which the average black woman in America will have finally made what a white man made in 365 days in 2020. Connecticut Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz says Connecticut is making progress. Governor Lamont and I uh, have helped to close the gender gap amongst state employees. Um, and I think that's important to point out because we have to lead by example. Um, after we took office, Controller Lembo audited our state's executive branch salaries for diversity and found that we were among the top states in the country in terms of having the smallest pay gap for uh, women in the country. Debbie McDonald, owner of Hair Regal in Bloomfield, says in order to close the gap, people need to be educated. We're leaving a legacy, anchoring that legacy so that everybody can be, you know, have equal opportunity for education. I believe that this will change, you know, um, change opportunity for jobs. It'll change, um, you know, um, our, our financial, um, our financial opportunities. It will change a lot for us. Lieutenant Governor says through the Council on Women and Girls, the state received commitments from 10 companies in the state to increase diversity on their boards and in their executive leadership positions.